mad wife poisoned husband's Mountain Dew with Roundup just to be mean since he was not appreciative of 50th birthday party. It's his party. He can cry if he wants to. Maybe he wanted a bouncy house. Maybe he wanted a pony, some balloon animals. Hell, maybe he wanted titties to jump out of the birthday cake. Did you stop to ask him any of these things before you attempted to wipe him off the face of the earth? I would cry too if I was married to you. A 47-year-old woman in Missouri is facing multiple felonies after she was allegedly caught on video spiking her husband's Mountain Dew with Roundup Weed Killer because he was not appreciative of the 50th birthday party she threw for him. That's right, sweetheart. Make it all about you. It's all his fault, right? Michelle Y. Peters was taken into custody on Monday and charged with one count of first-degree domestic assault and one count of armed criminal action. Authorities announced what? No attempted murder? According to a probable cause affidavit, Peters' husband on the the morning of Monday, June 24th, notified the LaClade County Sheriff's Office that he believed his wife was poisoning him. We already know Roundup has had a very troubled past with being carcinogenic to human beings. Then there's Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew, which contains the chemical sucralose 6-acetate. It's a byproduct or impurity when processing sucralose, the artificial sweetener that's contained in Diet Mountain Dew. Now, sucralose 6-acetate is genotoxic, means it unravels DNA and causes all sorts of cancer. So she might have saved his life mixing these two poisons together where it only made him very sick. One of them alone could have killed him. They canceled each other out. He told investigators he was the only person in the home who drank Mountain Dew. Nobody else wants it. What a shock. But said that around May 1st, he noticed the beverage tasted odd and he became sick shortly after. He ignored the weird taste at first, but said that after a couple weeks, he had a sore throat, diarrhea, vomiting, and was coughing up brown yellow thick mucus. Ew. The husband said that when he drank Mountain Dew outside of his home, it tasted normal, but all of the two liter bottles in the garage had the same strange taste. He then became suspicious that someone was putting something in those bottles and decided to check footage from a camera set up in the garage. The husband said the video showed Michelle Peters taking a two liter bottle of Diet Mountain Dew out of the garage refrigerator and a bottle of Roundup Weed Killer into the house. The affidavit states he said that Michelle then returned the soda to the refrigerator and put the Roundup back on the shelf in the garage. What is it ladies? Searching the web for hitmen to kill your husbands isn't quite working the way you want it too. You got to take matters into your own hands. Just a few days, I caught the story of Alicia Chapin was putting pet euthanasia medication in her husband's coffee. Melody Johnson was putting bleach into her husband's coffee. And Emily Yu was putting drain cleaner into her husband's tea. What are y'all all on the same WhatsApp beta testing what works and what doesn't? Peter's husband said he quickly became afraid for his life. I would have too. So he gave a copy of the recording to someone whose name is redacted from the document as well as the bottle of Mountain Dew Peters placed in the garage refrigerator in case he died from being poisoned. Jeez. The husband said he changed his routine and would put new and untampered Mountain Dew bottles in the refrigerator. He said that every time he put a new bottle in the refrigerator, Michelle Peters would put Roundup in it. The affidavit states a busy little bee. The husband said the original bottle of Roundup was now nearly empty and he noticed that there was a new unopened bottle of Roundup that recently showed up on the garage shelf. How do you even approach this situation? Because if you confront her about this, she's definitely going to find a way to kill you. Can you imagine the tension in those conversations around the household? Hey, baby, why haven't you been drinking your Mountain Dew? Hey, honey, where's all this Roundup going? And there's still weeds around the house and in the garden. When Peter's husband told her that he had been feeling sick, she allegedly told him that he probably had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> That's the excuse they told you to give them in your widow makers group chat and to stay away from the grandkids. The husband on June 24th also allegedly caught Peters on film putting insecticide in his Mountain Dew bottle. Just anything to get it done, huh? Asked about a possible motive for his wife wanting to poison him. Peters' husband suggested she could be having an affair or might be after the payout from his $500,000 life insurance policy. If you watch true crime, it's always one or the other, but if I had to guess, it would be the money.
money more than the affair. When questioned, Peters initially denied putting Roundup in her husband's Mountain Dew, claiming she was actually mixing the beverage and insecticide together to create a weed killer that she saw on Pinterest. What, Mountain Dew kills weeds? I bet it does. I bet it does. However, when confronted with the video evidence and bottles her husband had gathered, she allegedly confessed and said she should have just divorced her husband. Damn! At 47 and 50 years old, respectively, there's still plenty of time for you to find new love and start a new chapter in your life. Maybe that's what she wanted for her, but she did not want that for him. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness. What did you think was going to happen when they find Roundup Weed Killer in this man's body during an autopsy? You still think they're going to pay out $500,000 life insurance policy? Or are you going to get charged with murder? Him surviving this poisoning saved you for going to prison for life. The last act of a good husband. Michelle again admitted to putting the insecticide from the basement in the two liter Mountain Dew bottle and placing it in the garage refrigerator during the evening of 6-23-2024. Michelle said she was mad at her husband because she had thrown him a 50th birthday party and he was not appreciative, police said, per the affidavit. Maybe he just wanted to be left alone. There's nothing wrong with that. Peters added that she was putting the roundup in his Mountain Dew to be mean. Sweetheart, being mean is just not speaking to him. This goes beyond just having an attitude. Glyphosate, the primary ingredient in Roundup, can cause multiple organ failure and death if ingested, according to the National Pesticide Information Center. See, whatever was in that Mountain Dew counteracted the effects of whatever was in a Roundup. Poison fights poison. Peters is currently being held in the Laclede County Detention Center without bond and is scheduled to appear in court on July 2nd. There you have it, kids. Michelle Peters and yet another reason why you shouldn't drink anything that's been left unattended if you're in a broken marriage.